Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrew coming at you with a Logic Pro X first look. Um, I got this program this morning and I've spent several hours reading about it, uh, messing around with it, and so far I really, really like what I see. Um, people have been wondering, you know, is this the new Final Cut X? A lot of Final Cut 7, Final Cut Pro users were very upset with Apple's uh, move away from the more maybe professional um, video editing software to a more streamlined maybe mainstream editing software and I, I think people were worried that this was what this was going to end up like but I, I really don't think Apple did that in this case uh, off off the bat just opening up the program there are some icons in here that go oh wow that looks exactly like GarageBand but that's not necessarily a bad thing I think Apple's trying to streamline their products and kind of have a unity, an artistic unity between the, the lighter versions and, and the more professional versions. So this is not, I don't think, a downgrade in any way. So looking at this program from a composer, sequencer point of view, which which I am, I, I don't do as much on the production side. So focusing just on the composing and the sequencing, there's a lot to be commended. What's most important to me is that it's still functionally the same and that there are new in intuitive tools and that the layout is streamlined and not confusing. And I think for all of those, it, it gets good marks. And I'll tell you why. Functionally, this is still Logic Pro. I, I loaded up a program from Logic 9 into Logic X and it worked there were hardly any problems and I knew exactly what to do. I said, oh, if I want to adjust this, I want to open the mixer, it gives you the option to keep the hotkeys the same or you can change them to the upgraded hotkeys. So it just depends on how much time you want to put into learning. It's, it's a very easy transition out of one into the other. So it is functionally the same. As for the new tools, there are lots of new tools and if you want to read about those specifically, there are you can check out Apple's website, there are different blogs. Oh, I, can, I might get into it later, probably not in this video. Um, but there are, there are lots of new tools that I'm excited to start using um, and incorporate into my composition, and, and they're intuitive. So, all this to say, uh, if you're worried about the upgrade and the transition process between 9 and X, well, worry not. It seems to me that there are there's a lot of program here to learn, but there's enough to fall back on that you can just go right into your new projects, or continue your old projects, rather, at the very least with no problem whatsoever. If you're familiar with Logic 9, Logic X is looking to be an awesome upgrade and I'm really excited to start working with it. So, happy composing. Enjoy. <laughs> 